Hello everyone, so after ranting online, I decided to go to the streets and lend a hand to the protesters by cleaning up, by helping with food sharing or anything at all that they need and also, you know, entertaining as much as I can from time to time when I was tired and I needed to rest. So this video is um, sort of like showing clips of our experiences, the day I went to Alausa alone and the second time myself and Voodoo went to the Lekki toll gates, that was a day before the massacre. I would say that the Alausa gathering was the most organized we had food too much food we had people sharing shawarma for free uh, i did a short interview with this young man i would say the nigerians being nigerians were very distracted at this answers protest hi 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 guys how's it going so fine well welcome yeah we're getting a shawarma over 100 has gone out over 100 looked like they came for the food, they came for the dancing, they came for the mingling, some came to harass females. You know, everybody came for whatever reasons that they came for except to protest. But you know, at Alausa ground, it was more coordinated and straightforward. Uh, you're so amazing. You are so amazing. Yeah. I have videos of you doing your work. Please, what's your name? Can we right, meet you? I'm Adewale Ujo. I'm an executive director of Shawarma Nation. Okay. We all have had an encounter yes. in one way or the other. Yes. Then the only way we could speak in one voice yes. is to provide people with food and materials to help them continue the fight. If they want us to back down, we are not going to back down yes. in any way. Yes, we are not going to back down. Yes. You are the Nigeria we need. Yes. You are the Nigeria we want. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank I really you appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Wally. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Helena Nelson. On this day, 19th of October 2020, myself and Voodoo were coming from Awoyaya to Leki. We lost count of how many protest points we saw, how many points of traffic that boys were extorting monies from us. It was crazy. Like we spent so much money and then when we finally got to Lekki, we were tired. You know, it looked like nothing was happening. <sighs> it was just a lot of stress. Trust me. We had to trek in bits and pieces and we finally found a bus going to Aja. So when we found this bus going to Aja, the guy had to pass behind Novari Mall and some hoodlums were at each bus. Like, it was like, ah, they were too much. They were just collecting money from us. You know, at some point, some guys blocked the road. They said, oh, no commercial cars can pass because the main road was already blocked by supposed protesters. stress of taking drops, 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 and then finally a bike from the second to the all the way to that um Lekki uh, Lekki roundabout, Lekki face one roundabout. So we got there, buy some snippets right in front. That's that's what we're talking about. So some guys blocked the road with their car and refused us to pass because so guys, it's not a commercial um, road you know, and we had to like beg the before they cleared the road. We are trying to get to Lekki, they don't want to like move their car so we can pass. Oh, 
after much walking we finally got a bike that took us to um, Lakey roundabout that's Lakey phase one roundabout and then we took the long trek down to the uh, protest point we are live at the Lakey toll gate um, protest we are heading there me and my wife Helena Nelson we are going there to support in our own way the best way we know how to help the protesters who are protesting against SARS brutality in Nigeria. We have our quota to share and we are going to drop our support. And as many times as we can make it to this place, we will. Because this is our civic responsibility to do so. And we will. No, I don't have a stop button, man. At this point, it started feeling like we were in church. No kidding. And this was at the second toll gate, not Lekki toll. This was the toll gate very close. This is called the Eleganza toll gate, very close to Aja. Hey, 
don't tire, go. Let's see how it goes. On our way back from Aja all the way to Ibramandesoya, I counted not less than four stop points where these boys were extorting monies from motorists. So how are they part of the NSAS? Now 5,000 with a bag that you finish our hands yesterday. When I got home, I spoke about my experiences and then the next day, the massacre happened. The massacre happened. I watched it live from my phone. I typed, I commented, I saw this happen with my eyes from my phone. I saw gunshots, I saw bullets, I saw everything. And the Nigerian government is telling me that this was fake news. And up till now, as we speak, this is December. This is December 28th, 2020. The government, the Nigerian government has not done anything about this.